Hi, I'm here at the IDTech X show with Henrik, who's the CTO of Condoline. Nice to meet Hi, you, nice Henrik. Meet Thanks you. for coming. Nice to see you again. So tell us, what is the technology that Condoline has developed? Uh, so basically, we have a process where we use, uh, we disperse particle in a liquid polymer matrix, and then use electric fields to align the particles into chains. So you see a, a basic sketch here. We start with a random orientation of particles, apply an electric field over this uh, film, and then the, the electric field induces dipoles in the particles and the particles arrange themselves into chains. And then we, we uh, cure the surrounding polymer to fix the position of the chains and you end up with a material that can look something like this, for example. And what is your business model? Is it in the process, the materials, are you licensing it? How so are you it's a li li licensing model is our preferred model. Right. We're, we're, we're a small company and we're flexible, but yes. that's the we don't plan on becoming a volume sure. manufacturer of our own products. And is the know-how is it is it in the materials? Do you develop the materials or are they no, off the shelf? It's in the, it's in it's the, in the process. The, okay. So we don't okay. make our own poly, uh, particles or uh, polymers. We typically either get them off the shelf or with companies that we work for okay. or with, I should say. So you're able to align these particles, what are the applications? So uh, we've had a, a lot of different ideas for what it can be used for, but so our first license is actually uh, for a medical product. Uh, yeah, it's down here actually. So that's a biomedical electrode that goes on the skin. Um, so uh, this is, it's a new type of ECG electrode, which in most of the, the uh, products on the market today use hydrogel, which is working fine, but uh, it has some issues that it dries out on the patient's skin and, and also you need to package it very well to stop the, the water in the hydrogel to evaporate, basically. Right. This, here we, we align particles in a pressure sensitive adhesive that goes on skin and uh, we're working on, it's been approved skin friendly and we're hoping to progress to uh, clinical trials very quickly. Uh, we're also talking to a lot of companies within the electronic sector and that would be more conductive adhesives and uh, um, basically and zootropic conductive films. And we're also, that's more recent, but we're using the same technology to make thermal interface materials. And that's the same principle, but instead of aligning something that conducts electricity, it's heat conductive, boron nitrides and other ceramics. And so with the anisotropic conductive films, so say you do a dye attach, what, what is there needed? So how long would it take to, to create this process? So I'm not sure that we will be doing it in situ in the dye attached, but right. we'd make a film and then that would be transferred oh, and then okay. you add your components on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. And what is the length of time for this process to happen? Uh, depends on a couple of factors. Most importantly, the viscosity of the, the polymer before right. it's cured. It can be like this, like basically a sub-second up to minutes but for it to be worthwhile to produce we're, we're focusing on the quick processes yeah. so the alignment can be very quick and then we've spent a lot of time working with uv curable materials because that's also a quick curing process so then the whole production speed can be fairly reasonable Henrik, yeah. thank you very much thank you thanks, thanks. for stopping by thank you